and your co-parent could agree on every clause of your child's custody agreement and still find yourself wanting to make modifications as circumstances change. Modifying a child custody order can be challenging. However, assistance from an experienced family law attorney could make the process smooth for all individuals involved. And that is what we promise. My name is Stacy Moss, and I am one of the attorneys here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan. Today's video will take you through the process of modifying your child custody agreement with the guidance regarding its cost, limitations, and the chances of being granted a modification. There are two ways to make modifications to your child custody agreement. First, we have temporary and informal negotiations where the parents agree without seeking help from the family court. However, lawyers rarely recommend this path because either one of the parents can change their mind. On the other hand, to formally alter or modify an existing court-issued custody order, you must file a modification case in the same family court that ordered your initial order. This method will be much more reliable as every decision will be made in front of a family court judge. A frequently asked question at the law office of Brian Fagan is who can file a modification case for child custody? The answer varies from situation to situation. In normal circumstances, you or your co-parent can file a modification case in a Texas family court. The terms and conditions for someone other than you or your co-parent filing a modification are different. That person must have lived with the child and the child's parents for at least six months, but not more than 90 days before that person files their modification case. Also, a close relative can file for a modification only if both co-parents have passed away. Now let's discuss the cost of filing a modification. There is a basic filing fee. You can find the fee schedule on the district or county clerk's website. This fee can only be waived if you are a low-income individual. However, you would have to file an affidavit with your petition for the modification and disclose your reasons for not being able to afford the filing fee. The duration of a child custody modification case is another frequently discussed topic. Many modification cases are straightforward and can be solved with a quick mediation session. In comparison, several modification cases are solved after a long trial. The time depends on the complexity of the matter and the level of conflict between the parents or guardians. Family court judges analyze whether a material or substantial change has occurred in your co-parents' lives. The modification can only be granted if it is in your child's best interest. A material or substantial change occurs when the income of you or your co-parent has either increased or decreased. If the medical insurance coverage of your child has changed, the request for modification can be approved. Let's suppose your co-parent has decided to move with your child further away from you. What would that modification look like? Would you have to continue to pay child support with additional travel costs? All of these questions can be answered by an experienced family law attorney who can assist you with your particular conditions. Hiring a family law attorney is optional to file for modifications in your child custody case. However, a lawyer will undoubtedly keep you informed and it is highly recommended to at least get a consultation before jumping into modification cases. Our licensed family law attorneys offer a complimentary consultation six days a week in person over the phone and Zoom. Please do not hesitate to discuss your circumstances and seek advice accordingly by calling our office today at 281-810-9760. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get more information about Texas family law.